London in October this year. However, from that uh, tension remains high in the Farole area of North Hall constituency in Marsabit County, two days after 11 people were brutally murdered by gunmen suspected to be from neighboring Ethiopia. Some residents have fled the area, even as the remaining ones threaten to close down schools and flee with their children. This is the this as the government fails to deploy additional security officers. Our reporter Ibrahim Karanja is in the Farole area and now joins us uh, for an update by way of phone. Ibrahim, what is the mood in Farole as we speak? Well, Michelle, the mood currently in Forole is panic. The residents at Forole village, which is five, less than five kilometers actually to the Kenya-Ethiopian border, are panicking. Uh, we are told that last night most of them, especially the young men sent outside after their emerged reports that uh, there were actually, uh, there was ported over 300 militia are coming across the border. So it has been a really, really, t a really tense moment here in Porole. While we were coming at this, to this particular village, we were forced to spend one hour at a village called, uh, at, at a village that is about uh, 70 kilometers from here because the residents there told us not to, not to proceed with the journey because it was very risky. Right. And this is about five or so hours ago, at around 4 a.m. this morning, Michelle. So the residents at Forole area are panicking as we speak. The burial of the 11 who were, bar who were murdered on Monday is ongoing. Uh, six of them will be buried at a mass grave and the other five at different sites within this particular village, Michelle. Uh, do we perhaps know the cause or the root of this massacre? You mentioned 300 militia coming across the border. Have there been border clashes between the two communities? Well, Michelle, the tensions at this particular area are uh, escalated on Monday, and according to what residents are telling us, is that the 11 who were killed were actually killed while attending a peace meeting that had been called for uh, by uh, leaders from the Ethiopian side. Mm -hmm. uh, those, these are speculations or these are reports that we have not uh, been able to uh, prove whether they are true or untrue, right. but they say that the 11 were killed while attending a peace meeting. I have spoken to one person who's lost a 15-year brother, a 15-year-old brother who says that the brother was actually a hard boy and uh, he chose to attend that particular meeting that was held at the border. The conflict or the subject of this particular meeting was a water point. Uh, they were conflicting over a water point that is uh, in the Kenyan side and but due to the drought in this particular area, the herders, uh, actually the herders of this particular area have been fighting for that water point. So they chose to have a peace meeting, and it is at that peace meeting where the 11 were brutally murdered. We are told that they were made to sit down under trees and uh, the gunmen opened fire on them, and they were not harm uh, actually, they were not armed themselves, so they were killed. Uh, without even having any type of uh, defense for themselves, Michelle. All right, and finally, uh, Ibrahim, this happened uh, two days ago. 11 people killed, uh, hundreds of militia coming across the border. Has there been any heightened security operations by the Kenyan government in Marsabit County? Well, we have spotted a number of police officers in this particular area, but uh, according to the residents who have been here for a while, say that this number of officers is the same that they've been having for uh, the longest time uh, that they can remember. They say that they have not seen any increased security personnel. They have only seen uh, the ones that are actually stationed at the sta police station here in Forole, but they are also complaining, uh, Michelle, uh, after they were disarmed about uh, a few months ago, mm -hmm by the government saying that they were disarmed with the government not considering that the neighboring uh, Ethiopia and the residents in Ethiopia were still armed and they were posing a great danger to this particular area. Right. They say that the late interior uh, uh, minister then, John Mishuki, was the one who ordered for them to be armed because after he visited this area, he noted that this area was very volatile in matter security mm -hmm. and he ordered that there be more uh, Kenya police reservists in this area and they should be armed. But later on, the government has disarmed them, leaving them in harm's way, according to the residents, Michelle. Yesterday, right. the county commissioner had spoken, and he said uh, that the people here are protected. But that uh, seems not to be what the residents here feel, because the ones I have spoken to say that they have lost lives, 11 lives today, uh, on Monday, rather. And last night, they spent at uh, the night 
uh, in the cold because they felt they were being threatened by over 300 people who had crossed the border. Like I said, the border is less than five kilometers from Forelia village where we are, Michelle. So definitely a lot needs to be done to ensure the security of this particular area and to ensure that the residents uh, come back uh, to normalcy because they have also threatened that they're going to close down the schools and flee from this particular area if they will not see any heightened security uh, presence from the government, Michelle. A developing story there in Forole in Marsabit County. Reporter Ibrahim Karanja will continue following up on that conversation uh, being raised here on.